Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial that means the logo design tutorial and today I'll show you the this type of uh, like minimal type logo and creative which is really creative and I'll show you how to make this one and I use a free font and I'll provide you a font download link in my video description as well so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first uh, I'm going to the file and taking new options so taking the square shape artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name of the logo title minimal and hit the ok button or create button after that you are getting the white background but i want to make it in a black so that's why i'm taking another square shape which is 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel or one thing is that if you press over here it will be same as the hide and weight and hit the ok button and making it like a turn off the stroke giving the fill color like black and just taking it in a middle of the artboard okay now now time to lock it up and taking new layer from here okay now i'll write down something over here like a minimal so going to the text tool select once and making the font size into bigger and uh, here some font uh, the rathuli this font and making the font color into white then you will see the font what you have written okay now i will write down the minimal so i'm just writing m i n i m a l okay one thing is that here is some dotted and i'll remove that so minimal i'm just making the glyphic like that so where you will uh, get the glyphic from here the type options and going to the glyphics so you can watch what is the glyphics are there that means uh, the special cases that means glyphics over here suppose glyphic is that things the special case suppose you are writing or selecting that you are getting the extra lines uh, after or before of the text that is the glyphic so minimal i'm writing like that and lots of glyphic over there i just uh, shown you how to turn on the glyphic if, if you select this one you will get the glyphic on suppose i'm just selecting this m you are getting the m like that but uh, if you just make it uppercase you will get the glyphic again right press and creating outlines the goal of the making create outline is that i want to make it vector and it will help me out to delete the unnecessary dots so double click and select the dots uh, one by one and press the delete button from your keyboard someone uh, like to keep the dots if you are like to keep the dots you can keep it and one thing is that i will make the bigger size of the so now time to give the gradient another step just because of the golden and the black combination is a like a vip tone like that so now i written this one into the script font i want to use the normal font into like uh, other steps so I'm using the Nexa font, uh, suppose, don't worry about that, I'll provide you all fonts in my video description, please check out that, check out my video description actually. So I'm writing the P-H-O-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y, photography. So making this font into like, um, so like this and giving the space between two letters like uh, 400 that's fine or you can make it more smaller by pressing shift and hold it and placing it in the middle so photography and this one right press and create outline it will help you out to make it properly aligned in a middle so select this one and making it middle nice now i'll take a rectangle so like this and making it like into turn off the fill color and turn on the stroke make the stroke thickness like three or four i'm giving here three is good for me if you uh, comfort with the four you can give the four so now uh, here is two portion that means here and here i'll cut it out so how to do that select this rectangle and i'll make it four stroke okay that's fine and select this go to the object and expand so after making it expand it's a, a vector uh, like others it's not a stroke so i'm just making it in the middle okay nice now taking 
uh, the square shape or any kind of shapes like that so i'll cut over here so select the stops like uh, all the stops this one and the line as well shift m for the shape builders tool and now press the alter option button and now just drag it it will delete and just drag it it will delete okay now that's fine now our logo is complete now time to give the color or gradient this one is the white portion now taking going to the artboard and making it another copy so before uh, making copy you have to unlock this one now select all the stops and make copy by your alter or option button taking the gradient from here don't worry i'll provide you the gradient in my video description i downloaded this one from freepick.com select this one press i for the color picker and select that so you're getting the golden color like that so golden and white the best combination i think so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm a7 is signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well Bye bye